Hi everybody, this is uh, Brian uh, Thurman and um, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a headliner as well as replace a sunroof, uh, electronic sunroof uh, top. Um, it's not really hard at all. Um, I have went to a um, to a used auto parts place which was self-serve and uh, they had a couple of these out there in their yard and uh, so when I went out there I um, started to untake the um, headliner down and uh, realize how easy it was not difficult at all uh, I'm going to show you from start to beginning or I'm sorry from start to end <laughs> and I'm going to actually show you the tools you're going to need and uh, how um, it would actually uh, take place so First of all, um, the first thing you want to do before you start is you want to first try to clean your car out if it's messy. Sometimes mine gets messy. So you want to kind of clean the car out as best you can. Um, you want to push the front seat back as, as far as you can um, so that you can at least, or at least you can expose the two uh, seat belt attachment bolts here on the side here, one right here and the, ones, the other one's over there. Um, you want to roll all your four windows down um, and uh, you want to make sure you get all this stuff off of here um, and actually let me show you real quick what things you're going to take off <clears throat> okay you're going to first um, you're going to take off um, you're going to take off uh, this this bolt you're going to take this out this there's there's a hex uh, bolt in there let me pull that out there's a hex bolt in there. You're gonna take this off. You're gonna take this one off. You wanna take that one off. You wanna take this one off. Um, sorry, you can see that. You're gonna take these two and these two. And then you're gonna come up here. And there's, if you can see up top here in the sun visor, if I can get that right. Sorry, guys. You get these two bolts here. You're gonna take these off. And pop this out and you're gonna do that for, for the other side these two bolts and then this pops out and then you're gonna pull this visor down and there's a white clip that clips onto the uh, to the to the wires that operate the uh, mirror uh, light and you're gonna take that apart and this comes all the way out you're just gonna pop this down once you get once you get well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> so next, you're going to remove the two um, uh, um, uh, hang on bars, what do you want to call it? You want to move that. You want to remove this uh, clip. And there's another one on the other side. It's like a cap. You pull it out. And once you pull it out, you can actually pull this down and it comes off very easily. And so you want to come over here and do the same thing on the other side. And here and then the other side, you pull it out, you pull it down, it comes off. And you're almost there. And then once you do all that, you're going to come here, you're going to pull this. I'll show you here. You're going to pull this up and you're going to take this bolt off, set it to the side. This will drop. And you're going to do the other side here. And then you're going to pull this down. It won't break. It's hard, plat, bendable plastic. So you just pull it down. And this, this will relieve this um, headliner from this point. And you're going to do the same on the other side. And you're going to go down. You don't have to remove that bolt at all in the back seat. You're just going to pull that, uh, that um, plate down. And you're going to pull the other one down too right over there you're gonna pull that down and I'll show you and once you get those things down believe it or not this sun visor is ready to come out all you have to do is then pull down you have to get up underneath there and kind of work the uh, uh the the headliner down really easy not nothing hard really easy and then when you get to the back there's a few things I'm gonna show you when you get to the back you have to do uh, but like I said very easy um, um, and then once you then you have to take that light and pop it down as well and then put it back up through the hole and just uh, 
pull it off to the side. And then you're ready to pull this thing all the way back. Now, I'm not going to take the headliner all the way out. I'm going to take it all the way to the back. But if anybody's trying to replace a headliner, you can also see where you can just continue taking it all the way out and replacing the other one uh, back in like you uh, in reverse. Very easy. And I'll show you how easy it is. But what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to take this whole sunroof off and replace it. And the sun, once you get once you get the headliner off, there's maybe like about six, seven bolts that's holding this on. Very easy, easy to take off bolts. Once you take those bolts off, this thing drops right out. You unclip the electric, the uh, the electrical component uh, from it. This whole thing drops out. You move it out the back window, or you can even move it out the side door. And it's not, it's it's awkward, but it's not really heavy. It's heavy, but it's not really heavy. It's heavy because it's just awkward in the house up there. Um, I'm going to attempt to, because I'm working by myself, I'm going to attempt to um, cut two 2x4s two to hold it up in place while I unscrew everything. And then take one 2x4 down slowly and then take the other one down slowly and then hold it and then move it out. So this should be, and I'm sorry if, I, if my video is not as good as it can be because I'm holding, um, of course, my phone. So um, once we get this uh, done, uh, hopefully the the uh, used um, sunroof that I purchased at the junkyard will work. And if not, I'll have to take it back and redo this process all over again. So I'm gonna try to complete this within probably within an hour. Or so it's not it doesn't really take long. Uh, I know a lot of people think when you're taking a headlighter down, it's like a big headache. But in, in a Jeep Liberty, it is really not. And I was amazed how quick I did this. So uh, I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to show you next what um, tools you'll need. All right. Okay. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of pliers or um, like a pair of needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, flathead. You're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket, a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, it's going to take off this bolt here and this is these are the bolts that are attached that attaches the sunroof you're going to need a 5.5 mil this is very important right here you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter um, hex uh, one fourth drive socket this is you, you can't get a five you can't get a six you can't use a six you can't use a five you need a 5.5 millimeter so make sure and this is for this bolt here and that's what um, takes off those uh, um, those uh, hand handrails um, in your car for safety. I guess I guess that's what you use them for to hang on to. And then you'll need a 16 millimeter um, socket as well. Um, so to take off the bolts where the um, seat belts are attached. So right there. And you just need a screwdriver. There's a couple of these uh, in there um, when taking off a few things, and uh, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver for that. And that's basically it. So you need a 16 millimeter uh, socket. You need a 5.5 millimeter, and then you need a 10 millimeter. And these are some of the. I'm going to use a um, my ratchet here, which is a pretty good ratchet, uh, I think. Uh, and I got an adapter here, a reduced, so I can reduce down to use um, the 10 millimeter. And I have my little kind of makeshift uh, tool that I use the 5.5 um, uh, millimeter to take off the, uh, the hex bolts. So this is just a little kind of cheaper deal here. And I got just a little adapter here, so I plug in here. And then I'll plug in the um, and I'll use that like that. Right. You can whatever configuration you want to use, just use it. Doesn't make a difference, just as long as it works. So okay, uh, I am going. No, oh, another thing too, which is really important, when you're taking down a headliner, make sure you keep your hands clean, and you do not want to wear gloves because if you're getting up behind the headliner and there's maybe some grease or oil somewhere up there, and you can't fill it with gloves you'll then smear your whole headliner with oil and dirt. So make sure you keep your hands clean, wash them constantly, and as soon as they, if they get dust or any kind of grime, wash your hands and come back out and start over again, or start start to uh, proceed further. Uh, so the next step here, I'm gonna show you my 
um, my used um, sunroof. Uh, it's going to need some cleaning. Um, so and what's very important to also is that you clean these tracks. This is what uh, creates a faulty sunroof is that the tracks get dirt and grime in them and so when the mechanism runs back across it jams up and you know you, you end up breaking your components within the, <coughs> within the, uh, within the sunroof because a lot of them are, are hard plastic and they, they do break under uh, certain kinds of pressure and so uh, hopefully this one is okay. Um, I'm going to clean tracks and then once I get done cleaning them you have to re-grease them to make and I got some all-purpose um, grease EP grease. I hope this is what I need um, and um, if it's not you know please let me know um, but I'm going to use this for right now because um, it seems like it was the only thing that that was going to mimic that the factory had put in here so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-grease all this these tracks after I clean them, re-grease them, clean this thing up, re-grease it, and then we're going to proceed to put it back in. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to show off the video, and the first thing I want to do is I want to clean this up. So when I'm ready to put this in, I don't want to have to come back and then start cleaning this, and then have to I want it all to be seamless. So uh, I'm going to turn this video off one more time, and um, I will uh, then um, begin to. Uh, start the project. All right, I'll see you here in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so what I've done so far now is I, I had cleaned all of this here, and uh, took a Q-tip, cleaned inside the tracks, clean on the track deck here. Did the same over here. After I cleaned everything much best I could, then I grabbed this grease and I re-greased everything the, inside the tracks here, and then the tracks itself. Just dab grease along here and uh, in the tracks itself so so hopefully this this will work so I'm going to start right now um, removing the uh, the uh, hand um, guards or handrails uh, right now so all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I've already taken out the plug that covers this handrail, so I'm gonna have to take out this one. Now that this is already taken out, and I'll take out this one here. And I might can push my hand down and just take it out with my hand. Let's see, I can take it out with my hand. See, there it is. Comes out. Sit it all down in the uh, cup holder, and then begin to take your Tex 5.5 millimeter and uh, take this out. So I'm gonna pause the video when I get these out. The passenger side, and left side. So one second. So now that I have them out. As you can see the sun's in the way but now that I have them out you don't have to pull these off this just hangs down so if you can see it just hangs down a good picture of that and you can see where the hairliner was being held in at right here so all this will come down here in a minute so I'll go to the other side and complete it I have this one down these two bolts right here and right here pulls it down now the next thing we'll do is the visors we'll get the visors next and I'll show you how to do that here real quick uh, with the visors all you need is a screwdriver and you're just gonna take if I can get it, those two bolts out right there and then you're just gonna unclip this you're gonna unclip this and this thing will pop everything will pop out and then you'll take the wire that's connecting the the, the light to the mirror um off all right i'll be back hey i want to tell you guys uh something uh now to get to this connector once this drops pull this out you gonna screw those two bolts you gonna screw those two bolts this drops but you won't be able to see this until you pull this down and go up in there and release the tape from it and then you can pull this down so because people will struggle and try to pull this and this is stuck in there with this is stuck in there with tape and they'll try to pull this and they won't see this because it's stuck up there in the tape so you have to pull a little bit down on the hairliner to get up in there and release the tape off of this here it is so now you can uh, you can detach this Oh, 
Oh, one second here. You can detach this and uh, and then you can remove the mirror. And, uh, and I'll detach it and I'll work on the second one and then it will move to the uh, seat belt uh, bolts. And uh, we're almost there. Just that, just that easy. We're almost there. So one second. So now that I have these out, now all you have to do with the dome light is just pop it out. It pops. See what I mean here? Can't get that dirty. Pop it out. See, just pop it out. Just pop it out. Pops out just like that. And once you move the, uh, you don't have to move it out of the way just right now. You could actually unclip these clips and just move it totally. Um, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unclip this, unclip this, and just move it out of the way. All right. Came off very easy. Uh, very easy. So the next step is that we're going to remove the back handles here. And it's the same. This is a little different process. All you have to do is take these little plugs out, right? These little plugs out right here and the other one on the other side and just pull down on it and it comes out very easy. No unscrewing of any bolts or anything. So I'll do that here in a minute. All right, thanks.